Hey, I'm Grizz, and it's Blu-ray DVD update time. <sighs> Happy uh, Super Bowl Sunday, everyone. I appreciate you checking out my video. Um, I know the majority of the country is going to be watching football today, and I will be as well, so I'm trying to do this before it starts. Um, I got quite a quite a hefty haul here, a lot of Blu-rays, a couple of DVDs, and a big package that was sent to me by my buddy, minus the beard. He's always hooking it up. Um, one of the nicest, most generous people I've ever come in contact with. Sent me this pretty huge box full of slip covers, some Blu-rays, and some other goodies that I'm gonna show you. Like I said, minus the beard, awesome dude. He always messages me on Instagram like, hey man, do you need a certain slip cover or something like that? And he'll just send it to me. And sometimes he'll just randomly send me things, which is very nice. So if you're watching this, uh, Steve, thank you again. Um, definitely go check him out. I'll put his link below. He hasn't made a video in a while, but hopefully he'll come back. Uh, check out his older videos. He's got some great content. But yeah, without further ado, let me show you what he what he gave me. This one right here, um, I've been wanting this Blu-ray for a long time. When I first bought this movie, I bought the Arrow video release. And at the time, the Scream Factory release wasn't out of print yet, so I was kind of dancing around which one I wanted. I decided on the Arrow video release, and then literally like a couple days later, Scream Factory announced that they were gonna put their version of it out of print. And I was kind of bummed about that. So yeah, a couple years go by and he messaged me, Minus the Beard messaged me and said, hey man, do you need this? And I was like, yes. This whole package he sent to me for only $10, which is ridiculous. This movie alone goes for quite a bit. And what I'm talking about is the Scream Factory release of Life Force. This is the out of print version. I think it had to do with one of the special features. They didn't, for some reason, had to put it out of print. Um, but yeah, I finally got it. Awesome. The only thing that's missing is the DVD, which is like, who cares? Great artwork. This movie is awesome. It's a Toby Hooper film. Um, basically about these outer space vampires and then this woman pretty much is nude throughout the whole film. So that alone is good enough reason to watch it, I think. But yeah, awesome. So happy to finally have this in my collection. So yeah, Life Force. And then um, another kind of thoughtful gift. My favorite movie of all time is The Goonies and I do love the Criterion Collection. So he kind of mocked me up this cool Goonies uh, Criterion release, which is pretty awesome. It's a standard like Criterion case and then with some Goonies artwork, which is very cool. He also sent me a few of the Scream Factory like special edition posters. Got me the thing. The uh, Other Thing poster. Here's one of the uh, Carrie posters. These are like the ones you get when you pre-order the film um, through Scream Factory. Another uh, Carrie one, I love this artwork. Last one here, Motel Hell, which is probably my favorite out of all these posters. This is uh, Nathan Thomas Milliner's artwork, which he's probably my favorite Scream Factory artist. He also sent me a couple sheets of the magnets. I do have one set of these, so it's cool to have another two. Awesome. And now on to like the mountain of slipcovers that he sent me. Um, when he initially messaged me, he um, you know sent me a picture of a few Screen Factory uh, slips that he had, and I was like, yeah, man, I could definitely use those. And then he surprised me with literally a stack. I'll show you, um, full of slipcovers. And what he did was he watched my my complete Blu-ray collection video, which if you haven't checked it out yet, I'll put the link below. Uh, I made it about a month ago. A lot of you guys have watched it and I appreciate you very much. But what he did was watch that video and pretty much took note of every movie I had without a slipcover and he rounded up quite a few. So, dude, thank you so much. Um, let's get into him real quick. All right, yeah, so one of my favorites that he sent, um, this is a slipcover I've been wanting for a long time, the um, Roger Rabbit slip. I know this one's hard to find, so thank you very much. Another one that I've been wanting, the Criterion uh, slipcover for Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And I got a, a ton of Disney slips. We got Mulan, Pocahontas, Tangled, Rescuers and the Rescuers Down Under, Leroy Green, I got it. 
Hunchback of Notre Dame 2-pack and a Pocahontas and Pocahontas 2 2-pack. I do have these two releases coming to me in the mail, so I'll get those real soon. And then um, he also sent me the Target exclusive of Oblivion, which he actually sent the Blu-ray to, so thank you very much. A couple of years ago, he was selling this, and I messaged him on Twitter, but he had already sold it. So I think he remembered that, and um, that's awesome, dude. Thank you very much. Also sent me this um, collectible steelbook for the Muppets. I think what this is, is back when this movie came out, if you pre-ordered it at Best Buy, you got the, the steelbook with it. So this is like an empty steelbook case, which is very cool. Also sent me the Lost Boys uh, triple feature here. Huge fan of the first one. I haven't seen the other two, so I'm curious to check those out. And then um, the rest of the slips here. I got the Evil Dead remake, The Night Before. A few Screen Factory ones, Assault on Precinct 13, which I need to get on blue, Ginger Snaps, another one I need to get, Deadly Blessing, Dog Soldiers, Night of the Comet, this is going to replace uh, the one that I have that's torn, so thank you very much. Got Return of the Living Dead, Carrie, and The Thing. And then I also told him that I was looking into wanting to get all the Marvel films, so dude, he sent me a ton of the Marvel ones too, which is awesome. The Avengers, The Avengers Age of Ultron, Iron Man 2. Ant-Man, Green Lantern, and the first Iron Man. And then a few more random ones that I needed. I got a Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This is the 100 years of movie memories ones. I know these ones are kind of rare. Adventures of Tin Tin, Predators, Apollo 13, 127 Hours, Jaws, 100 uh, Anniversary Series one, The Wizard of Oz, two Independence Days, the more recent one, and then the uh, Fox Icon, Stargate, Cabin in the Woods, Lenticular, and last but not least, Zombie. Super stoked on this one. Can't thank you enough, man. Uh, everyone, please go check them out. And now on to my Blu-ray and DVD haul. A recent release that I picked up, Train to Busan. This is uh, put out by Wellgo USA. Got this at Walmart for $14.99. Beautiful slip cover. Amazing film. I definitely recommend this to everyone. I guess you can call it a horror, but it's more of like an action kind of suspense film. Very emotional too. It's one of those movies you're going to kind of go through every emotion. I love uh, movies about groups of strangers that kind of have to come together to survive whatever experience they're going through. Highly recommended. Definitely go check it out. Also picked up The Corsican Brothers. This is a Cheech and Chong film uh, put out by Olive Films. They play uh, a pair of twin brothers who can kind of fill each other's pain. Um, very funny story. Um, one of the few films that's like set in like the 17th century that I can actually watch. Usually that period is very uninteresting to me, but you know, this is one that I, I loved watching when I was younger and very hilarious. Uh, love this movie, glad it got a Blu-ray release. Also got Moving Violations. This is put out by Kino Lorber. Um, it does actually have audio commentary and a theatrical trailer. Uh, this is a kind of a lesser known 80s comedy about these people in traffic school. It stars one of the Murray brothers and Jennifer Tilly is in it as well. But um, if you're into goofy comedies from the 80s, definitely recommend it. Best Buy was doing the, you know, buy one, get one free in the little Sony section, I guess. Um, so I picked up a couple of movies from there. Got the Bad Boys 1 and 2 double pack. I like these, you know, when I was younger. I haven't seen them in a long time, but Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are great together. So yeah, this was $9.99. And then with that, I also got the Men in Black trilogy. So five movies for $10 is a pretty amazing deal. Pretty big fan of the first one when it came out. Um, second one, don't remember too much about it. And I don't even think I've seen the third one, so. I guess I'm looking forward to checking out those, but yeah, I couldn't really pass up that deal. Will Smith. Got a recent uh, Scream Factory release here, Dreamscape, starring Dennis Quaid and um, I forget her name, but she's in uh, Temple of Doom. Throwback cover art's awesome. Kind of makes it look like an Indiana Jones movie, but it's nothing like an Indiana Jones film. And not the greatest movie of all time or anything, but I had fun with it. Shout out to Culture Trini. Everyone go check him out as well. I'll leave his link in the description box below. He gave me a great deal on this out of print double pack of Ace Ventura and Ace Ventura When Nature Calls. This is a release that probably cost less than $10 when it was, you know, still in production. Didn't even own these on DVD and I felt like I needed them in my collection. I'm a pretty big fan of the first one and uh, When Nature Calls is also pretty funny as well. So yeah, thanks again, Culture, for hooking it up. I also recently picked up this triple feature pack of the Austin Powers films. Huge fan of the first one. Second one's all right and Gold Member is Decent. Um, this was 15 bucks at Target. Got it with the slipcover. And yeah, happy to own these. 
Target recently had a sale as well. Um, they had a lot of their newer release titles for 10 bucks, so I picked up a couple of those. I recently sold off my Suicide Squad Digibook. Didn't really feel like I needed it. Didn't even open it, so I just sold it on eBay for pretty much got back what I paid for it, which is whatever. Went ahead and uh, picked up the standard kind of version of it. Finally watched it, gotta say, I did enjoy it. Um, maybe going into it, I had known that people were disappointed by it, so I just kind of went, went in with an open mind. Um, the villain was pretty crappy. Um, for me, Will Smith carried the film. Uh, Margot Robbie was all right. Her performance was kind of whatever to me. The Joker was whatever as well, but like I said, Will Smith um, was awesome in it. Suicide Squad, dug it. Also picked up Don't Breathe. Pretty decent, like suspenseful horror film about a couple of uh, thieves that break into a blind man's house. In the beginning, I was kind of like on the side of the blind man, but as the story progresses, um, you kind of get more on the side of, uh, of the thieves. But um, yeah, decent film. If you can get it for cheap, I would recommend it. I wouldn't spend over $15 on it though. But yeah, Don't Breathe from the director of the Evil Dead remake. Also picked up Shutter Island. Um, got this out of the $5 bin at Walmart. Still have never seen this movie. I hear it's pretty suspenseful and the ending is supposed to be really good. So a Martin Scorsese film that I haven't seen yet and I'm looking forward to finally checking it out. Another one I picked up at Walmart, I got the two pack of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. This was also put out by Shout Factory, but it's not like the special edition one. This was $12.96 at Walmart. Don't really feel like I need a special edition of these, of these movies, um, but I did want to have both of them finally. There's no special features, um, but whatever. Bill and Ted's uh, Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey, pretty fun films from like the 80s and 90s era. Also picked up The Prowler, directed by Joseph Zito. Have yet to watch it, but um, looking forward to finally checking it out. And then uh, a few DVDs to round it out. This movie from the Walmart, like 378 bin. The Rugrats movie. Don't think I've ever seen this, but I was a fan of the television show when it was on. Just something I can watch with my daughter. Hopefully she'll appreciate the throwback artwork. Also got K-9. Um, they had a little section full of like dog movies as like a promotion for that film, A Dog's Purpose, which I hear has some controversy surrounding it. But yeah, James Belushi in a dog cop film, sign me up. And then the last thing I got, another television series. I keep picking up TV series, man. Hey Dude, I loved this when I was younger. Amazon, a couple of years ago, Amazon had this to stream like for free if you're a Prime member. I gotta say, pretty dated, but still very nostalgic for me. Uh, this is the complete series. Got this for $19.99 on Amazon. Got all four seasons or five seasons. So yeah, gonna dig into this pretty soon as well. You better watch out for those Manny Jackrabbit and then Kill It Cacti. That'll do it. Thank you guys for checking out my video. Again, check out Minus the Beard and Culture Trini. Two awesome guys. Thank you very much. Peace.